एंटी फॉस्फो लिपिड एंटीबॉडी सिंथोम ऑल्सो कॉल लूपस एंटी को यागोलेंट सिंथोम व्हाट इट इज यू आर गोइंग टू इट इट इज एन एक्वायर्ड ऑटो यूनियन दिस ऑर्डर ड्यू टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट various force for lipids which we will encounter in further lecture going to pathogenesis of this disease is not perfectly known but many theories are put down like first theory due to defect in cellular apoptosis which causes expression of membrane phospholipids to various plasma protein for binding causing auto anti bodies against those phospholipids lipids second theory is oxidized b2 glycoproteins especially type 1 causing binding and activation of dendritic cells similar to activation triggered by tlr4 cells causing production of antibodies then what are these glycoprotein one these are plasma proteins associated with endothelial cells of blood vessels especially those of trophoblast which are during which are present during embryonic stage then going to clinical features of this syndrome firstly cns syndromes like stroke Mm. sinus thrombosis especially cavernous one then seizures chorea what is chorea chorea is abrupt irregular and purposeless movements seen in huntington disease also seen other disease also okay then there is also reversible cerebral vaso constriction syndrome where we will see thunder clap headache also seen in sub electroid hemorrhage then and the clap headache in sub electroid hemorrhage then going to peripheral nervous system we will see gullian barre syndrome
then going for meteorological disturbances disturbances we see hemolytic anemia then we also see thrombocytopenia and recurrent thrombosis like DVT most common during pregnancy then then it causes pulmonary embolism then dermatological manifestations like levi do reticularis and pulpura then it also causes renal microangiopathy causing renal failure then it also causes ocular manifestations like retinal thrombosis causing sudden painful generally it's painless loss of vision then it also may lead to amyosis then there are few musculoskeletal disorders like avascular necrosis of bones causing many more complications now going to a specific condition that is pregnancy during pregnancy there is recurrent miscarriages in this syndrome causing fetal loss but this is not due to thrombosis but is due to antibody formation against trophoblast causing increased in vision of growth and its differentiation increase inhibition of growth and its differentiation causing failure of placentation now going to lab diagnosis of this disease lab diagnosis first is increase in serum igg or igm levels and also there is an increase in anti cardio lipin 
in serum what is this cardiolipin it is an phospholipid in our body other examples of phospholipid are protein c protein s and annexin b now again we also find lupus anti coagulant in plasma and it should be for two times at two weeks apart of duration in the plasma now going to classification of this syndrome it is classified into mainly two types two types that is primary and secondary going for primary it's only based upon clinical features in secondary it is also associated with other auto immune disorders like sle that is systemic lupus erythematous disease and these auto antibodies have specific properties which may mislead other investigations like these antibodies may give rise to false positive test for syphilis in a test called wasserman test test of syphilis where antigens standards are embedded in cardiolipin this cardiolipin is known to be an phospholipid which in turn is an antigen for these auto antibodies so it may lead to false positive test for syphilis now going for differential diagnosis of this disease okay differential diagnosis firstly it should be differentiated from thrombotic thrombo cyto tenic purpura and disseminated intravascular necrosis and also from infective endocarditis now going to treatment of this disease it is mainly by anti coagulative therapy anti coagulative therapy or in association with immuno suppressive drugs can be used 
in this disease basically this disease is an acquired autoimmune disease which is not so prevalent in some of the countries but it is a major concern disease thank you